So the CRISP CT is an outcome study. It's a long-term outcome study of 4,000 people uh, who have been who had a CT angiogram uh, about a decade ago in two centers in uh, Cleveland Clinic and in Erlangen in Germany, and we use these old scans to apply a brand new technology that we have developed in Oxford that is called fat attenuation indexing. And that technology essentially analyzes the space around the coronary arteries, around the arteries supplying blood to the heart, and it extracts information about the inflammatory burden, how inflamed are the coronary arteries underlying this, this space. And essentially, it analyzes some characteristics of the perivascular fat, of the, of the fat surrounding the coronary arteries. When we developed the technology about a year ago, and we present in science translational medicine, we had this uh, question about the applicability, whether it, it's a technology that uh, by detecting inflammation it predicts cardiac risk, it predicts who will live and who will die with a heart attack. And the aim of the CRISP CT was exactly to answer this question. Yeah, so we, we found in these uh, 4,000 people that uh, if you are fat attenuation index, this new biomarker that uh, comes out from this new technology, is abnormal, and this is uh, abnormal in about 10 to 20 percent of the people who have cardiac CT, independently on whether there is disease in the arteries or not, visible with naked eye. So if you have abnormal fat attenuation index, then you are risk to have a heart attack that will lead to death, a fatal heart attack, is between five and nine times higher than somebody with exactly the same characteristics but without uh, this abnormal index around the coronary arteries. So the conclusion is that uh, essentially this is a new technology that uh, has just been developed so it will evolve. We use uh, artificial intelligence to improve it, to make it even better. Uh, and essentially, what, uh, what we propose is to introduce this measure, these biomarkers, into the standard reporting of cardiac CT. Because in standard cardiac CT, 15% of the population, 15-20% of the population comes back with uh, abnormal arteries and they need to do something about it. Either have a stand or have treatment, etc. The between 70 and 85 percent of the population now, they, the result of the test comes back as completely normal. But we know that half of the heart attacks happen to people without significant narrowings in their coronary arteries. And these are people that we currently miss based on the current uh, clinical guidelines. The new technology, by identifying these people who are called the vulnerable people, may be able to direct treatments to guide us on which of these people need treatment despite the fact that they don't have visible disease. Because these are the people who will develop disease in the coming years, or if they have some minor disease that we underappreciate, that's a disease that will lead to a heart attack. So that's the, um, the perspective, the clinical perspective that I give to this, uh, this study and this technology.